Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? We're just hopping right into Never Alone, Kasima, and Ichuna. Uh, I've heard nothing but good things about this game, and I actually couldn't wait to play it. I've been to Alaska, so I'm somewhat in the know on what this game is about. Wow. You know, an excellent native of thrive for thousands of years in one of the most formidable environments on Earth. Learn more about the Inuit, or Inpiet. That's cool. Watch insights to you know. Unipka or the Arsipin. Dalan is our national Unipka to a Kawirakama. If we are share a look of Inunia and Exo. It is said that a girl lived with her family in a place far from here. The girl loved to hunt and had grown capable of doing many things. One day, a powerful blizzard approached. Dang, she knocked out a seal. It was followed by another blizzard. And another. The village was no longer able to hunt. And faced starvation. But the girl wondered. What is causing the weather to be like this? And she set out to find the source to find the source of the blizzard. Let's do it. Let's watch what we got. You'd be busy, busy, busy all through the day. You get up, and you just go right to work. You know right to work there's always something to do there's never any idle time the only idle time we had was after we eat before we go to bed one of the older people would just be just relaxing laying down there and saying you know it'd be really nice to hear a story and then just organically someone would just start telling the story Storytelling for the Nupiak people is very important because it not only created that sense of community, but is a way to pass on wisdom to the next generation. It was like TV, you know? <laughs> it was just like, it was as good as anything, you, any movie you've ever seen. And the storyteller told it so clearly that it was just as powerful as any of the greatest movie blockbusters you've ever seen. There's a reason behind the stories that we were yeah, told because they held sick. traditional knowledge. They held things that we might need to know in life, whether it was about how to find food or how to survive, or it was about well-being and the importance of connecting with people and being a good member of the community. We all do stories. We all live in stories. We all tell stories to our friends, and, and they need to be told. They need to be heard. Awesome. So scrimshaw is this really beautiful method of art that's done either on baleen or ivory. And traditionally it was used to tell stories. Each etching is telling a story of some event. Uh, caribou hunting was taking place. This is what was going on. War began uh, around this time. And so it sort of gives you a timeline of history through etching. An elder or the person who carved it would literally be able to read the Scrimshaw story. They're like reading a book. 
No way. A lot of the storytelling traditions would be things that after the storytelling was done, we just rely on the next person telling it. And so Scrimshaw is a very important way for Alaska Native people to record their history. Yeah, I'd do that a, a mammoth Scrimshaw at the end of that. That thing was huge. The blizzard was unrelenting. And the girl did not make it far. Before she found herself in real danger. Ridiculous. Press on the controller to join Fox. Press to switch to Fox in single player mode. No. <laughs> you know, the game just made me jump in the water. That's cool, man. You can switch between characters. The weather did not clear up as the blizzard was followed by yet another blizzard. Alright, we'll watch another new insight. The Arctic Fox. No, that's not it. What? Oh no. They uh, open up in some weird... Oh, I guess I didn't get one. Watch insights. One new. Oh, this one doesn't... Oh, we didn't watch it. Alright, so we'll watch this, guys. Living people, a living culture. One of the things I think a lot of people need to understand is we aren't a museum piece. The Nupiak people are a living people and a living culture. Even though we're in northern Alaska, which covers this vast area from Nome all the way over the Canadian border, is that there is this extreme value of interconnectedness and interdependence. It's a hunting society, a gathering society, from thousands of years. This is what creates our culture. That special relationship between humans and the natural world and the animals. And that it teaches you how to have a, a society that doesn't do too much harm to the world. Love and respect for nature, for one another, for our elders. Very, very fundamental value, key to, key to life. Our values are something that bind us all. The importance of sharing with one another. The importance of spirituality and the connection to the land. We did watch this though, why is it? How we hunt, sharing of stories and songs and dances. Um, it is All right, let's just do uh, one more continue. And then we'll uh, 
and the first playthrough here. He was not ordinary. She never told anyone about the fox. Okay, here we go. Alright guys, so I'm going to pause this video here. Look at the fox, how cute. We're going to watch the Arctic Fox. When I was growing up, uh, my grandpa uh, had a pet white fox. If you're a good friend with a fox, when there's danger abound, they try to keep you from getting into trouble. They're tricks here and there and foxes are uh, like uh, spoiled little kids in that way when you let her out she go prancing out in the snow jumping in the air I know she is happy then come running at me and jump on my chest knock me backwards lift my face and, and I try not to let her so that was my memory of my grandpa's birthday. That is so dope, man. Alright, guys, uh, stay peeled for uh, playthrough number two. Alright, guys, see you later. Peace.